Hi, I'm Steve Boyles, Ohio State University Beef Extension Specialist, and this short presentation is about grain screenings. Screenings are the byproduct of when uh, grain is cleaned at the elevator, and this actually good screenings uh, can resemble uh, oats in quality, but poor screenings can probably resemble the quality of straw. There are some potential concerns in feeding screenings, and you're probably getting a lot of weed seeds uh, from this cleaning process. If you're going to feed this and you don't want to get weeds back in your pasture, you might consider uh, feeding in a dry lot situation and storing manure for about three months. Or you might think about putting the screenings uh, in the silage as you're making silage. The fermentation process uh, should kill most of those seeds. It can be difficult to grind this product because some of the seeds are quite small, but uh, preferentially if you can grind it, uh, please do so. As I stated, uh, screening quality is highly variable. You may want to uh, do a feed analysis. If you can reduce the particle size uh, and you're going to feed a lot of screenings, uh, that could increase the chances of acidosis. How much can you feed? Oh, about 50% of the grain mix in a growing cattle diet or 25 to 30% of the grain mix in finishing diets. With screenings for cattle that are really typically based on uh, forage-based diets, Probably about a six pounds of screenings can be fed to heifers and maybe a maximum amount about 10 pounds uh, to beef cows. But certainly this is substituting out some forage uh, if you're in a situation with limited forage availability. If you'd like more information on this topic, you can contact Ohio State University Extension or our OSU Beef Team website.